to relocate Hollywood to any area, where would it be? I wouldn't want to relocate it anywhere. I think it's fine where it is. All right. So when you were uh, in high school, mm-hmm. right, who was your crush? Like, who did you have on a picture on your wall or actor, musician, writer, artist, football um, player? Tom York. Tom York. And is there any actor, obviously I know you haven't had a chance to see any films, but is there someone out there that you have always kind of admired that uh, perhaps doesn't get the recognition or the press that they should? I think most of the actors I admire the most don't get that much press, but on purpose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think usually throughout the year, the, some of the best performances are sort of the ones that are under the radar. Mm-hmm. Um, I usually think the most interesting work is, is the work that's kind of not viewed by the mm-hmm. Is there a movie that no matter what, if it's on the television, you won't turn off? Um, uh, me and Jessica were just talking about Zoolander. Yeah, well, that's Probably a great a one. Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> when it's on, when you're in some weird hotel in Sweden yeah, and it I would comes on, that. Like, so, Dragon Tattoo, you obviously are very proud of it. And well, I haven't it. seen the You haven't film seen yet. it yet? I'll tell you if I'm proud of it. But you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> No, I haven't seen it yet. I mean, I'm sure I will. Do you watch it. dailies and stuff? Did you? No, I didn't watch process? dailies. You know, I would watch playback sometimes if it would be helpful. If I needed to, you know, if David was giving me a direction that I couldn't, um, I couldn't understand or figure out, then I would go watch to see what he was talking about. But I, I didn't ever watch dailies. I don't find that to be helpful. Mm-hmm. Now he's famous for having. 10,000 takes for one thing. Do you remember the, the most amount of takes you did on any no. one scene? No, you know, I think it's very, it's an, it's like a, you know, urban, urban myth. legend. It's yeah. very exaggerated. He definitely does more takes than, you know, the average person, but it's not an absurd amount. And, you know, he makes the point, you know, you spend all of this money and time in pre production getting ready to shoot and so much goes into it. And then you get there and take, do three takes and you're done. It's like, what's the point? Mm-hmm. Everyone's put all this effort. You may as well like explore it and do it right. You know. 